get up the, up the road a bit, you come out of the plantation and you see the old Caledonian wood up on the right, in quite a rocky face. And uh, that was Creek Farrick. Mm -hmm. Farrick. And Patrick's uh, Rock. Mm -hmm. And the farm down below on the flat mm -hmm. end is also called Creek Farrick. Uh -huh. And if you go further up, you see the, the main ruin still obvious is Dalborer. Yes. Which is the, the hawk of the, the Lord. Yeah, and that's on the other side that's of the That's on the river. south side. Yeah. Uh, and there was another one there called Dubrich, meaning the, the dark man. And that's further up. Further up, but dark, meaning like Heather. Well, that's what I was thinking when you were talking about dark. Uh, and, uh, you know, you were saying that it was the Heather, I was thinking. Because you know, that's, that's got the dark sound in it. That's like Dubrich. And, and often the, the local pronunciations held on to the vowel. And that makes a big distinction between Gaelic and English. Right. So, you know, it's Breivar and Inyarai. Yeah. And uh, uh, Dubrich. Yeah. Dublin. Yeah. And Bergen. Yeah. You know, you hang on to the onto the, the vowel and if you look at the, the spelling there's an accent on the on the, the vowel mm. or there's there's um, in some cases there's uh, letters in the way yeah like riach yeah. riach mm. is what sounds size of riach it's um, riach mm -hmm. Because there's a beach in the middle, mm -hmm. and that means a brindled upland. Mm -hmm. Now, interestingly, in northwest Sutherland, mm -hmm. towards Dunnes, there's a creek, Riavach, right? And it's the same one, but they pronounce the beach there, and they yeah. don't in the, in the south. But because you're not pronouncing it, you give emphasis to the to the vowel, so instead of Breiriach, uh -huh. it's Breiriach, you know, that's what you'll hear from the, the best yeah. speakers. Riach. Riach, meaning brindled. Riach. And that just means like spotty or... Spotty, right, yeah. that's right. Um, so we'll have a quick barrack. Uh, if you further up, you eventually come to Stone Dyke, towards the White Brig, and the uh, there was a farm there called Tonagui, mm -hmm. which means bottom of the wind. Mm -hmm. But it had been bottom land of the wind. Right. G gui was, ga is wind. Uh -huh. And in the genitive case is gui. Uh -huh. It's a sound you don't get in English. Yeah. But it's like the German uh, O with a new mat. Uh -huh. Or the Danish or Norwegian O with a stroke through it. Uh -huh. uh. Uh. That's a sound. Uh, but that was uh, anglicised locally, and Bob Scott used to laugh about it and say, Oh, Tungui, he said, that means uh, the winnie airs. The winnie airs. <laughs> That's right. So then you're up at uh, the White Brig, and uh, beyond that you've got Chester D, which in Gaelic was Keist Ye, yep. meaning the same thing. Mm -hmm. And further up you had the Ella Fife Shield which was Ruina Kula, mm -hmm. meaning the shield of the back place. Um, and uh, you've got the quarry above that as well. Quarry above that. Uh, and leading up to us, uh, it's got more. Uh -huh. And then uh, you've got uh, the big hill, it just means big rocky hill, it's yeah. got more. I should have given more emphasis to more. More, it's got more. But as the uh, the one to the east is going to do, it doesn't have the accent. Mm -hmm. And then the one above the Lina D, at the southeast end of all that, is uh, on the map looks like Macduff's Hill. Right. Canon Ich Dui. But locally it was Canon Tuya, which means uh, the hill of the uh, wanderer. Um, you think that that's got to do with the, the fact that? If you go right, you're going to go up Glen Louis, Maybe. and then to the left, you're going to go up uh, Glen D. Yeah, definitely, and so it could be. Just a 
place to make a choice yeah. about which way you want to go. And you mark the white brink, yeah. uh, <coughs> the road crosses the D there, and heads over towards uh, what used to be called the Lower Geldy. Um, and uh, or the Reed Hoose sometimes, because it's got yeah. a red corrugated iron roof. Uh -huh. And uh, that, the old name for that was Rui Yalasich, yeah. which was Elizabeth Shale. Yalish? Yalasich. Yalasich. Right. E A L A S E I D. Yalasich. Yalasich. There's a Khan Yalasich at the left, same one. Mm. Um, then uh, <laughs> there, there's been various attempts to have a, a footbridge mm -hmm. um, across the Geldy, but it's been washed away repeatedly. But you'd find it lodge for uh -huh. the help. Yeah. And uh, uncertain name, Bainak Bond on the wheel. Yeah. <coughs> oh, no, no. Eddie. Does he want out or? No, he wants out. I'll let him out. I'll right, stop. Scarshock. Scarshock, again, an uncertain kind of name. But uh, you've got a Scarshock Vic. Uh huh. A wee hill towards Gale yeah. Lodge. And then uh, you could call his up there as Corn Dumper. It's Tober a world, called Dogpa locally. So to, to, the, the word as it's printed, it's Toba. Toba, but, yeah. it's, but after an N it becomes like a D. Right, in so, so it's Dogpa. And Dogpa. Uh, and uh, what looks like Ken Tagant mm -hmm. becomes Ken Dagarch. Mm. Um, there's quite a lot of cases of that. Yeah. And uh, the next cell is Carnila. Uh -huh. This is the fiddler's can. Uh -huh. um, then you're looking down to the fishy where it used to run into the gildy. Yeah. For the now that's still on the marsh side, isn't it? Uh, the fiddler's it, can. It's a right it's, on the border. It's right on the border of Inverness, right. Perth, and Aberdeen. Yeah. Now you come round the other side, you've got huge elm in Broughton. Yeah. Uh, which means the mastiff. And what do they mean by master to the... A big dog. Just a big dog? Uh, right. Um, there's one in Gaik. Yeah, there's a lot of Yeah. Um, and in that our deep? area, the Ben was pronounced Bean. And the NN is almost like an NG. Yeah. But it was Bean, Bing. almost like Bean. Bean. And I've heard the, the Barn and Ben board that comes... Uh, down from the, between the north top and the south top, uh, the, the, the old stock, as you used to call it, Alton Apeen. Right. But it was Alton Apeen, yeah. that, that yeah, sound. Yeah. But they just decided to make it sound like well, a Well, you see, the B is, and garlic's pronounced near the tip of your teeth. Right. So it's Bean, you know, that's how you get that sound. Yeah. Uh, whereas in English, Ben is pronounced far back, but mm. garlic is pronounced near the top. Um, and uh, you've got a conical hill uh, below uh, been run that's uh, Can Clark Woolen on the map, which means the hill of the millstone. Right, yep, yep. But, yep. Uh, that's kind of standing over the day a bit more. Uh, yep. Locally, it was Can Clark Woolen, makes more sense, hill of the millstones. Yeah. And uh, what do you think that suggests? Just good rocks for making millstones. <laughs> I think they would go that far up to make uh, them. Yeah? Uh, there's another one out towards Glen Clooney on the left. Right. There's one there to Millstone yeah. Hill. And you'll go out there and get a bit of rock and turn it into Millstone? Well, that's. that's uh, yeah. I mean, it does seem a bit far fetched, but yeah. there it is. Then the, the, there's a quarry up there where the snow lies long. It's called Drech. Mm hmm. Snacked as snow, snack. Yeah. But again, after the T, it becomes a D. And the barn there on the, on the map is Alt Gara, the, the rough barn. Uh -huh. But locally, it's the Garawat. He emphasised the, the Gara bit. Same yeah. as in the Balak Bui. I was going to say that. It's the Garawat. Walt. Walt. Garawat. Uh, not Garawat. No. And then you come around, further round, and you've got a bun called, it runs into Glendee, called Kirchen Ropi. 
Koch and there's a, again you've got the EO sound which is like the German or with the umlaut. Mm -hmm. It means a hidden button partly because the head on the box. Yeah. Can you say that again? Koch and Roppy. Kochen. Kochen. Koch. Kochen. Koch is blind, you see. Right. Koch and Roppy. And Roppy is Robbie. Mm. The B being pronounced in the front, so it becomes like a P. Mm. And the core is Kor, Koch and Roppy. And you're now into going goose again. Mm -hmm. The hell of the little fir pine wood. Glen Goose again. And the top end of the glen you've got a monomore. It just means a big, uh, big mouth. Uh, so what you don't get in Irish? Yeah. But it's quite common here. I mean, you know, it doesn't mean a hill, right? It's sort of a, a big lump of stuff in your uh, way. Uh, it's like the mona, the Cairngorms are mona rua, yeah. you see. And the mona lea. Yeah. And the mona moa. Yeah. And then the, and the black mount was monadu. Yeah. Uh, they were all monas. Yeah. Uh, which is a, a relic of Pictish or British. Right. And then the the, the quarry immediately below the summit of Mona Moor is Kirkrikach, uh -huh. which means the rocky quarry. C R E A G A C H. Mm -hmm. But again, the G is softened, so it's Kirkrikach. And then the quarry to the, between it and uh, Ben Vroten is core Khan of Young. On the map it's C A T H, which means a battle. It's just this nonsense. I love that it was core Khan of Young, which is a pass, which makes uh -huh. sense because it's a good pass through. Uh huh. Yes. Um, An obvious way to go. Ah. Uh, and then the the, the Gooskin Bun. It comes out uh, down off Cantel, which lovely was Cantel again because yeah. it was Can and Dull. Uh, the T becomes like a D. Yeah. And uh, the hole there between it and Scornoch and Ewan is Clash and Dull. And a side stream comes off Loch and Stuartic, which is yeah. the Loch of the Black Headed Gulls. Uh, then you're round to the Devil's Point, which is uh, anglicisation or euphemism for Potenjorn, which was the penis of the demon. That was a Gallic name for it. So is that just literally a demon, or is it the, a reference the demon, to the, yeah. yeah, a demon rather than a, a reference to the devil? Ah, it's the devil. Well, it is the devil then, so it is a... So it's the Devil's Point, so that, uh, a euphemism. Yeah. And you got a similar one with Loch Nagar because it, originally it was Loch Nagar is the name of the loch, yeah, uh, which means the, the loch of the outcry or noise, you know, yeah. with the wind coming across yeah, the loch. Sure. <coughs> the L was known as uh, being mm -hmm. uh which was the hell of the paps. Mm -hmm. And you get the muckle pap, which is yeah. still yeah. known as a kick of war. Yeah. A little part of Kehvek, and you've got the others which look like paps in the yeah. distance. Yeah. That's round into Glendee, and you've got Karaur, mm -hmm. which is a dun coloured quarry, leaning up onto Kandau. Mm -hmm. And a great green bit up from when you come out of Karaur, mm -hmm. it's a huge green slope. Mm -hmm. That was a Voinyach. I mean, in the yellow place. Is that is that on this the same side of the river? Yes. It's yeah. a, as soon as you come out of the top of Tarar. Oh, I saw it on the top of the hill. Yes. It's facing the uptowns. Yeah. Cantel. So there's a, a saddle there. Aye, as well. There's a saddle between the Cantel so and the, the So spot. the grassy bit at the top then. A Vuyniach. Uh, there's another one in, on the Bayreach and the on the Glenenic side. Mm -hmm. Another one above Lagan and Cantalia. Uh, then you've got uh, the soldiers quarry, uh, which is corn deitcher. Again, the T becomes a D. Deitcher. And you lose the S. Yeah. So it's the soldiers quarry. Any idea why it's the soldiers quarry? No, 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 it's, it's unknown. So we pass at the top of it, uh -huh. where you can climb between the rocks and uh -huh. crags. It's called the slicket. 
which is, means just like I, we, um, you know, you know, the words like slug and slugging and uh -huh. slugging yeah, like the, the like, the, like the gullet kind uh, of thing. Similar. And then the Cory immediately below the summit is Corn Devil, uh, Cory of the Barn, mm -hmm. or the Barn Sheep. Mm. Be, yeah, yeah. And then uh, Corn Lochanouan, uh, you didn't pronounce the E at the end, mm -hmm. as you do in the West, Corn Lochanouan, and then Scorn Lochanouan, uh, and the size of the Angel's Peak, ridiculously. Well, but that, that's a much, much later thing. Much I mean, later, that's, uh, that's Copeland. That's Copeland, right. Uh, the Cairngorm Club ah, decided. That was it. Uh, you then have, uh, uh, if you're walking to, down to, you, you come to a call between it and Braddy. Yeah. And if you can go off slightly to the left, there's a huge quarry goes down to us, the, the Mount Vore, the Great Moss. And it's, often called Horseman's Quarry. Yes. After a former yeah. tenant. Seton Gordon talks about that. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Davy Duncan discovered old papers from uh, Ballandalloch, which he used to have uh, that area. And uh, it was Leacher, the Grey Quarry. Right. So it was interesting. That says. So they've just, somebody's just decided to change it? Well, the, the name had been forgotten. Right. I mean, there were quite a few names in the fish here that were in there yeah. that had been forgotten. Sure. So Horseman's Quarry is really yeah. Grey Quarry. That's right. Yeah. Leah Quarry. Um, uh, you're round on the... On the you got, and Garachor is a huge... Yeah. The rough quarry. Huge amphitheater. That's the whole thing. Uh, and then you've got Garachor Moor. Mm -hmm. Garachor Moor, that's uh, the... The west, southwest one, and then the next one is Garakar Ye, which is, means D, not mm -hmm. D E H I A I D H. Mm -hmm. um, so and that's the one the burn goes to. That's the one at the D waterfall, which is is called. Uh, it's either S Ye or S and Ye. I've forgotten. The wells of the are four and ye mm -hmm. up on the plateau, mm -hmm. and then the the wee top behind that's called Enoch Cairn. Yes, uh, didn't get a Gaelic name for it. But the top to the south, mm -hmm. slightly higher, is Carna Creek, mm -hmm. hell of the boundary. And then you've got Carvrochen, which means literally quarry of the porridge. Yeah, but it was still to me it was. Uh, a place where everything's in little bits, mm -hmm. and that's generally the, the feeling. You know, it's the, the boulders. Sure, there's a it's a it's a very stony, right. but small stony quarry. And the next quarry around, towards the pools of Dee is Karua, sometimes called Conalaric. Um, and you you now completed that side of the Dee. Karua has got the the Duke's path in it. It's got the path, the zigzag path. That's it. Yeah, at the top. Have you followed that path? I have. Have you? Yeah. Because yeah. I, I, I looked at it from uh, the other side and didn't find <laughs> it. Well, it was like made for the, the, the ponies, you know, the ear stocking <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's very steep and yeah. it looks very narrow. <laughs> and uh, uh, the, I've had to come off, come in descending that quarry on skis. Uh -huh. Right, off, off, off a brewery, yeah. Uh, uh, into Larry Grew. Yeah, it's a steep descent, whatever way you do it. <laughs> but I, I chose that. Uh -huh. And it was beginning to show signs of avalanche, you know, with yeah, snowballs. Yeah. Sure, sure. So I walked down, <coughs> the, climbed down the ridge between that and Cod Rock and it was mm. safe. 